Da -na 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 -na. It's the Chris and Cody show. Chris, hey, Cody. Who's that coffee? Oh, that's is that McKenna? That's used. Is that McKenna? Don't even I've been see. replaced. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, hey guys, <laughs> today we're uh, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with our Moto Crane rig. We're gonna test out these brand new wireless transmitters from Hollyland. Have a good time. Get some coffee. Capture cool, some cool rollers with a Audi S4 on T37s. Right? Woo! Close enough. I think so. No, it's an RS. It's an Audi on T37s. We're gonna capture yeah. some cool rollers and show you guys this cool new wireless transmitter setup. Uh, and at the same time, give you guys some tips on some rollers and just enjoy a fun day with the Moto Crane arm. Uh, first, we gotta set, we gotta set it up, and it takes a second. So we're gonna go do that. All right. So this morning's gonna start out with us getting everything out of the van. We gotta put on our speed rail, such cups, and get our Moto Crane set up. Uh, we're going to be shooting some cool rollers today of our friend Chuck's Audi S4 on some nice bronze TEs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Those are nice. So we're going to uh, also, it's got the red guts. Ooh, we're going to be getting some rollers of that while showing you guys Highland's brand new uh, 400 Mar Highland Mars 400S Pro uh, wireless video transmitter. That's going to save us so much time and make our shoots look so much more professional. And I'm going to show it off to you guys, show you how we use it, um, show us why it's beneficial to us and uh, why we've been missing out and why we haven't been using this for so long. We've rented different wireless transmitters in the past before for different shoots. I've never owned one, but now we finally own one. Uh, thanks to Highland, shout out to Highland. Oh yeah, shove it in there. Oh yeah. Did you watch him put it in, Chuck? Oh yeah. Did he do it slowly or? Uh, he tested it first. Oh, you know, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So if you guys saw the one video we did recently with Chris's R34 and testing out the Moto Crane for the first time, uh, you already saw this setup. If not, this is our Moto Crane ISO plus uh, SRB, B, SRB, which is over there, plus the SSG kit over there. That pretty much allows us to capture rollers from inside the car safely, not hanging out of the car, and using their stabilizing arm that keeps our shots perfectly steady and allows us to control everything from inside the car, especially when it's a little windy outside and you guys probably can't hear this anyway. But we're gonna finish getting this setup. And like you open it and there's batteries included. Uh huh. You bought an expensive tool and tools are. Included. Oh yeah, they did it's include the tools like, in their oh, ultimate bundle. Your own tools. It's like nah, fam, we got you. Also, like, we get the ultimate <laughs> bundle. But our main attraction of the show today here is our Highland Mars 400S Pro in this slightly smaller box than than all of these boxes that fit. Okay. Yeah, this is what's gonna wirelessly transmit our signal from our camera outside the car to inside the car instead of running a long HDMI cord, leaving the window open, getting cold. Uh, and to the camera, this is gonna do it all wirelessly. But first, we gotta finish setting up the speed rails and the moto crane. Chris, give us an update of the rigging, please. Look, it's there. <laughs> yeah, so we pretty much have everything on. We're going to uh, uh, just keep it where it is. We're not gonna put the arm and camera on until we get to the location that we're gonna shoot. And uh, but Duncan. We're pretty, but we're pretty much uh, built up where we need to be. We're gonna put one more support pole here. Um, we're going to drive like this. Everything's completely safe to drive like this. We have multiple points of contact securing our motor crane system, the SRB, um, and the speed rails and everything like that. If you want to know more about how we set this up, what to do, there's a video on the channel with the uh, with the, uh, cool uh, Midnight Purple R34. You guys can go check that out. We show how we set this up step by step um, and how it all comes together and what's the benefits and whatnot of using all of this. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to go get some Duncan because obviously Sponsored. And the road we want to go to is closed. Hey, welcome to the Closed Road Club! Um, Can you imagine living here? Well, that's the road we were going to go up to get rollers on. Alright, so we got the Moto Crane arm here. This is their ISO, their isolation arm. Um, that's just going to go on the SRB. Uh, pretty much just like that. Can you do and that again? And we're done. Do it again. Do it, do it again? Okay, do it again. Do it again. Oh, there, wait, wait, wait. There's a sun flare. Do it again, go. And we're done. Minus some screws. We're pretty much done. Uh, we'll put the, uh, the tranquilizer on here, the gimbal on here. We'll uh, actually screw that in, and uh, then we'll talk about the uh, the Mars, the Highland, uh, what we're actually here for. The Mars today. Rover. Obviously, we need to show this off because this, this, this is freaking cool. Mars <laughs> Rover. So we just got to the second location we were going to use to shoot at um, here, the, like Seven Lakes Drive here in New York or whatever. Well, don't tell them that. It's Mexico Lakes Road. Eh, whatever. Um, but it doesn't matter because we're not filming there. As we were setting up the motor crane in the back, uh, a cop just came over to us and gave us a whole speech about how we can't film there without a permit. And, well, we don't want to have to deal with those types of things again, so we just kind of shook our head and, um... Accepted defeat. Accepted defeat, packed it up, and we're going to try another third road. So, third time's the charm. We're just trying to show off the Hollyland. Um, so we're going to go to another road, uh, well, and, we're also uh, trying to show off the RS7 progress. 
Oh, it's an S4. SRS4. It's an S7. It's an S4. It's a wagon. Anyway, so you guys have to wait a little bit longer to see the Holly Land in action. So what we have here, we found a third spot that we're going to use. Uh, so we're settled here, we're calling it, we're going to get our rollers here, but we're, talk we're here today to talk to you guys about the Highland Mars 400S Pro. Uh, it is a wireless transmitter kit up to 400 feet line of sight. That's like uh, more than a football field. More than a, it's like 133 yards, I think, because I looked it up. Um, but like inside the lot. box, you get a quick manual, a little start guide, and all type of jazz. And then you get these two guys. Sorry, I'm blocking it. You get these two guys right here. You have your transmitter, and you have your receiver. One's marked blue, one's marked red to know which one is sending and which one is receiving the signal. Um, underneath those, oh, okay, Chris breaks them. <laughs> underneath those, you have a power adapter so you can power your receiver um, because the transmitter is probably going to be somewhere on, uh, on gimbal or whatnot. So you have that to power your receiver if you wanted to give it power at all times. And then over here you have your antennas. Uh, you have five antennas in here. You're gonna be using four at one time and they give you one extra, which is cool in case you lose one or it gets broken or, or whatnot. We're gonna mount one inside the car to the Atmos and we're gonna mount one outside somewhere to the van to uh, connect to the camera. And they automatically connect to each other. You don't need to figure out which channel are we on, what channel is the movie on, whatever. It just knows what channel to connect to and they'll connect to each other right away with no setup. Right out of the box, you're good to go. Right, so we're gonna take the caps off. We're gonna screw on our antennas here that just screw on. And then once these are on, you could bend them in any direction you want to pick up your signal the best. Um, we'll do this. The cool thing about these and why I wanted to get the 400 uh, S Pro over a different model is that not only do these accept an HDMI in and out, um, they also accept SDI in and out. So the red that the red camera, the bigger camera you guys see us filming with, we uh, we shoot um, we we go out of that camera with SDI. We've only been able to do HDI because normally we run an, an um, like a 15 foot HDMI cord from outside the car to in the car. We crack the window open, we pinch the HDMI cord in there, and we hope it doesn't come out of the camera. And we hope that you know it's not raining or there's nothing's gonna come into the window. Anyway, without <laughs> shut up. Without, I hope it's not raining <laughs> in the car. Meanwhile, the red's on the back of the car. So these little guys transmit a 1080p up to 60 frames per second signal whether you want to use that to just monitor uh, have your client monitor monitor on your cell phone via the holly view app which is really cool um, or use it to record you could do either so these guys can be powered pretty easy by a sony lp or an mp battery right here you just snap it onto the back boom and the little fan outlet is up here these guys have little fans in them the fans you can make really quiet you can turn them off if they're a little bit too loud if you're on a, a sound sensitive set uh, you can totally turn the fan off and have it be really quiet otherwise when they're powering on you really can't hear them anyway. They're super quiet to begin with. It can also be powered by a USB-C right here on the back. If you don't want to use a big chunky boy battery like this, you can plug in a USB-C connection, which would be cool for us because the Movi that we use has a USB-C out, so we could probably power it from the Movi when we connect to that. Um, but uh, yeah, you also have the DV in if you wanted to, or the AC in, DV, whatever, the power. You did generators, what's power? D DC. DC, nah, yeah, see, you can yeah. do that as well if you wanted to. Um, but power button on the back as well, which then turns on the unit, which is really simple. You just hold it in, and then it comes up, and it'll automatically already start it. It will automatically start to already try to connect to the other Hollyland. Uh, you don't have to change any channels or do anything. If you want to, you could use their channel search uh, to find a clearer channel. Super simple, one push of a button, um, and you could find the clearest channel possible if you're getting a little bit of interference or if you're on other wireless transmitters. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get these set up now. We're gonna put the red guy somewhere on the outside of the van to connect to our A7S II and the receiver on the inside connected to our Atmos and send that signal wirelessly through the car. And once we're in the car out of the, uh, out of the wind, we'll talk more about some benefits, what these guys can do, how they perform, um, and give our honest opinions about the Mars 400S uh, Pro once we're out of the cold and out of the wind. But Woo! let's get these guys set up. Yeah. We're gonna suction cup it to the rear windshield here of the car, or we can put it to the bumper. We can really put it anywhere. I think once we uh, figure out our whole setup a little bit more and use it more times, I might get a clamp to clamp it onto here and like another uh, Manfrotto clamp and clamp the receiver onto here instead of suction cupping it, have it closer to the camera. Um, but in the meantime, we're just going to suction cup it to the back here. We're going to run an HDMI cord from here to the camera. Uh, we're going to go from mini to uh, full size HDMI. The channel is already connected with the other one. Let's see if I can hide it in the shade here. Ignore that. What you're seeing on the screen there is from the camera. It's normally just a clear image. Um, but we're on channel three. There's no video signal right now because, well, it's not connected. Um, so we're going to suction cup it, connect it, and then, uh, yeah. I like how they have also the red versus the blue down at the bottom so you can tell which one is the receiver and which one is the sender just by quickly looking at them. Uh, you guys can see this one's got the blue down there. That's nice so you can just quickly easily tell, oh, that one goes near the camera, oh, that one goes uh, to your to your monitor or whatever you happen to be using. Now we're going to mount the receiver to the front of the car. Normally we could just use the quarter 20 here to use an adapter and go to the bottom of our monitor, but I don't have one of those on me. So we're just going to use this GoPro suction cup here um, and suction cup the receiver 
to the top of our windshield here. And again, we're just gonna power this on. The power button's right there on the back. We're powering it with the Sony battery. We're not uh, doing the USB-C or the uh, DC power. So we're just gonna press the power on button. Boop, boots right up. And then it will automatically start linking to the camera that's back there. Put in the shades, you can see the screen here. Uh, it says no video because the camera's not on yet, but it will link to the channel. No, 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 I like those. Yeah, but you can't see it. You can't see. Okay, you guys ready? This is Cody. He's doing. Oh, that felt oh. good. All right, Send us more. It. Thanks for coming. But yeah, this will automatically, there we go. It's just connected to the channel, channel three. Uh, it's now connected to the channel. You could swap your channels with the up and down arrows very simply. If you want to search for your own, um, you could hold down this center button right here, and that will bring you to uh, a menu where you could church. <laughs> where you can search, church, boys. where you can search for channels. You can change the fan speed. You can have that be on auto, slow, off, or return. If you're in a really quiet situation, like we mentioned, you could just uh, have that on off. We'll go return back to the menu. System settings, Wi-Fi, password, network info. You can check out all the other type of stuff if you want. Um, and on the other one, there's other uh, settings as well that you could mess with, just like this. Um, but for right now, we're just going to go back to our main screen. Exito. And it's already connected to the other one. It shows our battery voltage. It shows the connection. Um, yeah, we're just gonna mount it up here. We have our antennas already connected. And uh, realistically, we're pretty much good to go. We're just gonna connect this via HDMI, like we mentioned, not SDI. We're gonna connect this via HDMI to our Atmos monitor that we're gonna be using to monitor and record in this situation. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty simple setup here. And uh, there's no giant HDMI cord going from the trunk to the car. It's just this guy. Which I should have plugged in before time, but I got this. We're gonna take this and we'll go in. And then we'll power this puppy on. I like puppies. And, that uh, looks legitness. I'll turn the camera on and we'll get a signal. Right now we don't have any video signal because the camera's not on. Um, but uh, yeah. That's pretty fire. We're good to go. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so here's our final setup. We have the uh, Movi setup. We have the receiver over here, suction cup to the back of the trunk. Uh, you guys can see that there, and that's getting signal from the camera, which is then attached to our amazing, beautiful Moto Crane SRB ISO in their SSG kit. And then if we move up over here, we're in the car now, and we have, boop, we have our uh, receiver and our Atmos, which we're monitoring with, and we're going to throw on our zebras because I want to make sure. I am way overexposed, but that's on the snow. Yeah, I'm way overexposed. Much better. All right, let's get some rollers. All right, so Cody's in the back right now. We can see our camera signal. We can see channel three. I'll brighten this back up. We can see channel three. It's upside, upside down right now, but ignore that. We have the Hollyland here, and we can see we're getting signal uh, wirelessly. There's no wire connected to the camera going through the van all the way through with the window open, and uh, it's back there setting the signal wirelessly, so that's really cool. Um, we're gonna go set up the Movi controller, and then we'll be good to finally grab some rollers. All right, so we're gonna capture some rollers here. So we'll cut to some of the rollers here. We guys can see some of the footage that we're capturing um, with the Movi and our motor crane arm, but our wireless signal being transmitted. You guys, I'll play the footage right over top of this. You guys can see the footage that we're capturing right now is uninterrupted. There's no signal loss. Wow, that's pretty crazy. And again, the cool thing about this is you could go up to 400 feet line of sight. Yeah, he's fine. Oh, nice. That looks keep good. That, keep that distance. You're perfect. So there's no signal interruption that we're getting. The HDMI card, we don't have to worry about that flying all the way through the van right now. And like we were saying before, the cool thing with the Highland Mars S Pro, uh, this newer model, the slimmed down version, uh, if some of you guys have seen other models of wireless transmitters, they, uh, they're they really big and they're really bulky. Um, and sometimes they could add a lot to your payload. Uh, or they might just be awkward to, to put on your camera package or whatnot. These really small uh, sized uh, uh, transmitters here are great to go just on the top of your camera. They're great to go, like if you're shooting by yourself, or if you're a solo shooter, if you're on a small budget, you have a small crew, these are great for you. So stuff that we do sometimes on the fly like this, um, when it's just me and Cody or it's just you and your friend, this is a great little application to use for that because, or a great little product to use for an application like that because we're not dealing with uh, a whole crazy big setup and it just it could go right onto the top of your camera or like this it could suction cup right to the top of your window or wherever you want to put the receivers and transmitters but this ooh, we got some cool movements going on here this is all super simple to use the setup was crazy uh crazy intuitive and it just the way it automatically connects itself as well the way the highland automatically connects itself just makes so much more sense for somebody like us on a smaller budget with a smaller crew to use. It just makes so much more sense. You don't have to be using uh, rollers. You could be doing this to monitor yourself if you're live streaming. This has an awesome application to be able to uh, to, to live stream. 
Um, you can send this to your computer. You can send this wireless signal to your computer. You can walk around your house. You can walk around wherever you happen to be live streaming. You could use their uh, Hollyland, Hollyview application to monitor the signal as well. So if you have a client or somebody who doesn't have a, another monitor but wants to watch the shot as well, they could just download the app and they could watch the shot directly on their phone. It's super simple to use. I set it up last night before we even came out today in case one of the monitors failed and we just wanted to use the phone and the application. Uh, what's also really cool about the application is you can take a screenshot, you can take a freeze frame, you can draw on that freeze frame, you can make notes on that freeze frame, uh, all within that app, and you can actually even record to the app as well. Yeah, so this is just making life so much easier with the Highland and not having to worry about the giant HDMI cord again. That's the biggest thing. And again, when we use the red, which is what we use a lot of the time, we're gonna be using the SDI in and out. Uh, we'll be able to trigger all the red settings from the Movi controller and do everything wirelessly at that point. Our video signal, our focus, our control, everything will be wirelessly. Um, and the good thing with the Highland is none of those signals will interfere because we can just search for a different channel with the singular push of a button. We're gonna do it again in three, two, one. Again, if we can. Uh, After the turn. After the turns, we're gonna do it again. I'll count it down. Uh uh, you're good. Nope, you're perfect right there. Okay, alrighty. Ready? Three, two, one. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that was fire. If you guys want to learn more about Highland, we'll put the link down there in the video description to check out this wireless transmitter, the exact one that we had, if you guys liked it. I recommend this one for the more run and gun style shooters, the solo shooters, the small crew set shooters, which is usually people just like me, and I know people just like you guys, a lot of you guys out there, we don't usually get the biggest budgets, we don't usually get the biggest crew, so something small like this that can sit on top of your camera, or like suction cup to the front of your windshield, is gonna be perfect for you guys, because right now it's working perfect for me. Thing when it comes to wireless transmitters. The the new Highland Mars S, Highland 400, Highland Mars 400S Pro. They have a lot of them with similar names, so it's kind of, they get messed up. Anyway, with this one, there's 0.08 seconds of latency. So um, what that comes down to is what we're seeing in camera versus what's actually happening. That's such a small difference with what we're doing with these rollers and our application, we'll never notice that. And that is a really, problem, one of the biggest, one of the biggest things that comes when it comes to wireless is is latency, uh, and the, uh, the latency on this is minimal. You really don't even notice it. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, Cody, you see what's right here? Yo, that's what we're seeing that's wirelessly cool. on my phone. So we have the Highview app right here, as you guys can see. The Highview app, if the GoPro picks it up, this is what we're seeing again. So if I wanted to give this to Cody to watch while he's driving, no. Or if somebody wanted to watch the screen in the back, if we didn't have another monitor. They could just download the app right here and do it on their phone. You could you could look at all different settings. You could bring up the zebras on the phone as well. If we didn't have them on the Atmos, you could bring them up on here. You could take a screenshot, record, um, and draw on the screen and make notes. It looks sick. Oh, the walkie. Thank you, Chuck. Do you have an Instagram for your car or yourself that you want to put out there? Uh, at Yad Chuck, uh, spell button sound, Y-E-A-H-C-H-U-C-K, all one word. Oh yeah, Chuck, thank you. Chuck, thank you for your time. If you guys wanna check it out, we'll put his Instagram here on the screen and you go check it out. Chuck, go get your COVID test, come back negative. Thank you, we'll talk soon. Hasta luego. Bye, Chuck. Do the thing, do the Audi thing, do the Audi thing. Oh. I can just like fart. Okay, do it, do it, do it. Ooh, I heard it.